Paola Bertola, Scientific Coordinator of the DEFINE project, and I'm here to welcome you all to our final event, celebrating the exciting journey we have been through during the last three years. I will try to guide you along the cultural background, motivations and achievements of DEFINE, hoping to raise your curiosity in attending all initiatives which have been planned for this special finale. Fashion is a multifaceted phenomenon rooted in the history of humankind within its six for individual identity and cultural development, whereby costumes are a fundamental brick of any social system. But it is also an important industry, which more recently has been at the very center of mass production and globalization processes, producing several negative impacts on social communities and becoming the second polluting industry in the world. In fact, fashion has been a long-lasting protagonist in industrial revolution cycles, being the textile and garments industry a crucial player in UK transformation since the late 18th century and later on in the whole European early industrialization. Since then, radical technological innovations and their consequent revolutions followed each other with a rhythm that took for each cycle almost a century. We are now within the so-called Fourth Industrial Revolution, which embeds the potential of the Internet into the model of a smart ecosystem, based on the convergence between physical and digital environments and resources, integrated by a set of technologies throughout all the value chains. This new revolution took half of the time to happen, only 50 years, showing that not only advances in technology promote radical changes, but also that the speed they happen is increasing. This transition has been impacting all industries, including fashion, where in particular two kinds of new players have been entering the system. On the one hand, since the first decade of the new millennium, tech giants such as Google and Amazon have been identifying fashion as a promising field for expanding their businesses. On the other hand, a new generation of startups have been populating the fashion market with fresher business ideas. In the first case, tech giants could rely and exploit a unique key asset their online large and powerful customers network that they empowered by AI to profile users and customize their fashion retail offer, supported by a globally widespread logistics. They are now approaching private labels and embedding manufacturing supply chains as well, acting as new competitors in the traditional fashion system. In the second case, brand new fashion competitors made of startups, mainly coming from other industries such as ICT, have been creating a very large ecosystem of new fashion services, products, solutions and business models, quickly taking advantage of the potential of digital technologies, but hardly integrating with the existing fashion system extensively composed by traditional SMEs. Within this scenario, DEFINE project was shaped to trace a new trajectory for the development of a fashion tech system. DEFINE is a collaborative three-year project co-founded by the EU COSMIC program in 2018, which ends with this extraordinary week of events and the showcase. It aimed at supporting the fusion of the European fashion industry with cutting-edge technologies also forming a European fashion technology ecosystem. And finally, to extract and disseminate knowledge on fashion tech innovation and new business models. These goals seem very ambitious, but our achievements, which I will introduce in a moment, show that when it comes to innovation and future development, we need to be ambitious. First of all, over 250 incubators, accelerators and hubs across Europe who supported at least one fashion tech startup 
were identified and more than 70 of them were involved in the project through networking opportunities and advanced digital platforms and tools. Furthermore, the defined partners map 200 fashion tech sensitive investors and financiers, directly involving 56 of them in investors' workshops, pitching sessions, investment forums, and interviews. Finally, we reached and interacted with more than 500 fashion tech startups and SMEs through info days, networking events, boot camps, entrepreneurial workshops, and dedicated digital channels. Connected to this, we launched a specific mentoring program for accelerating fashion tech startups and SMEs, and our COFA project received 170 eligible applications. 27 among them were admitted to the program by our selection committee. These 27 fashion tech businesses were supported through bespoke technical, business and investment readiness mentoring to become fashion tech champions. We are very proud of their achievement, which will be shown this week in a dedicated showcase. And on our side, we're currently collecting insights, lessons learned and good practices for replication and transferability to then share with the fashion tech ecosystem. But opening this final event, more than achievements, I would like to remind us the why this project was launched. It is still crucial to keep this motivation in our mind as the vision behind it needs to find new projects and opportunities to become real. As we all know, the open innovation paradigm has reached maturity within science tech-driven sectors, such as chemical, pharma, ACT, biotechnology, also giving companies the opportunity to access innovations outside their boundaries by supporting or embedding innovative startups. The Silicon Valley model is a typical expression of this phenomenon. Therefore, the integration of high-tech and digital industry within more traditional sectors has already proven to be a promising frontier of innovation, for example, in the automotive or food industry. And this evidence is growing opportunities for open innovation to be implemented within other contexts than pure science tech fields, which are particularly developed in Europe. In fact, Europe is still rich in manufacturing resources, with a global leading role in many fields, especially in producing culture-intensive goods and services, the so-called cultural and creative industries, such as fashion. In light of this scenario, DEFINE is part of a European strategy to expose traditional industries, often based on outdated business models, to high-tech and digital innovations, and CCIs represent a very relevant target for these strategies, as the cultural dimension of the European industry is acknowledged to be a fundamental and distinctive pillar of Europe's economic and social well-being. And certainly, tech innovation and digital transformation bring with them unexplored potentials to innovate CCIs. Too many times, pure tech-driven approaches blind of long-term impacts of their innovations have been producing deleterious effects on the environment, on job transformation, on social communities. COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated how quick we can go in digital transformation and how much it can grow our efficiency. But at the same time, we also saw how much digitization can increase inequality, impoverish our human and social dimension, affect the quality of our lives. It has never been so clear that implications of technologies characterizing the so-called fourth industrial revolution are unpredictable. On the one hand, for the first time in the history of humanity, technology is no longer simply able to process data and information faster and in greater quantities, but it is able to replicate cognitive processes, therefore to learn and make decisions. 
and this is the AI revolution. On the other hand, a process of convergence between nanotechnology, biological sciences, information sciences and cognitive studies has been triggered, which brings with it unexplored potential, but also enormous ethical questions. While this process is strongly supported from a tech-driven perspective in the North American context, a different view has emerged in Europe, where arts and humanities are seen as powerful components needed to this transition for guiding it towards meaningful purposes. With respect to this consideration, we believe that giving the lead of a defined project to design research institutions such as Politecnico di Milano, supported by the London College of Fashion and the Institut Francais de la Mode, was a timely choice by the Commission. We want to interpret this choice as the search for a new humanism, able to drive technological development through a clear design-led and purpose-driven vision, as the recent initiative of the new European Bauhaus also confirms. In light of this perspective, we hope that DEFINE, together with all the community we gathered, as well as future projects and initiatives, will contribute to strengthen CCI's sector, enhancing it through tech innovation and reaffirming EU global leadership in producing culture-intensive goods and services within a highly competitive but inclusive, equitable and sustainable paradigm. Having this as a common vision, I thank you all for attending this opening lecture and I let you move to the core of this finale with all its events. Enjoy! Enjoy.